The secrets of the universe's far reaches can now be solved by science. Today, we'll look at five fascinating hypotheses that have the potential to fundamentally alter how we think about the universe. Are you willing to explore an amazing universe of speculative possibilities? So let's get going. Approximately 14 billion years ago, the universe as we know it today began to develop. Soon after, light started to travel through space in the early universe. The universe itself was expanding at this period. The universe began to exponentially expand a few seconds after the Big Bang due to a phase change. This time frame, known as cosmic inflation, came to an end a short while after the Big Bang. In actuality, the universe is expanding at an exponential pace at the time of its formation. For hundreds of years, physicists and mathematicians have investigated the nature of the cosmos in an effort to understand its many mysteries. But by considering what lies beyond of our cosmos, some scientists are venturing further into the unknown. Is it conceivable that our cosmos is not the only thing in the universe? We can only speculate on the existence of other universes' planets. Very well could be the case. Here are five hypotheses on what that object might be and the hints that could be used to disprove each one. Please help us by clicking the thumbs up icon if you enjoy our videos. The Hubble volume. Because the universe must first be more accurately defined, the idea of an out of universe is exceedingly challenging. The phrase observable universe is frequently used to better encapsulate the heart of the problem, and it corresponds to how significant light speed is in this context. We can never see beyond the furthest extent that light can travel over the course of the universe, since we only see objects when light that does not radiate or reflect reaches us. The oldest photons that we have been able to observe are thought to have traveled 45 to 47 billion light years since the Big Bang. This indicates that our observable universe is roughly 93 billion light years in size. All the quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, and black holes ever observed by a telescope are included in these 93 billion light years, and everything else that we are capable of observing but haven't yet done so. Only the light that has had enough time to reach us is present in the observable universe. This also indicates that the observable universe is expanding, but it also has a limit. In honor of the telescope that has provided us with the most distant views of the universe, the limited region is also known as the Hubble volume. It is essentially the only universe we can ever interact with because we can never see beyond this limit. Beyond this limit, however, we know with a probability approaching certainty that there is a wider universe. Astronomers think that the amount of space that is invisible to us may be unlimited and that the distribution of matter, energy, galaxies, and other things is similar to that of the observable universe. Not only will we discover additional planets outside the Hubble volume, but also other planets that are quite similar to Earth. We can go far enough to find a solar system with an Earth that is completely identical to ours, one where we ate cereal rather than eggs for breakfast this morning, and one where we skipped breakfast. And another planet where we went on a bank robbery this morning after waking up. In fact, according to cosmologists, another volume of Hubble that is utterly identical to ours can be found if you travel far enough outside of the universe. Additionally, there is a different version of us in that other Hubble volume that depicts every action we might possibly consider. This might sound improbable, but the vastness of the universe is also incredibly difficult to comprehend because it is simply outside the realm of human imagination. A close object cannot move relative to another object faster than the speed of light, according to the theory of relativity. For objects that are very far apart, this law does not apply when the distance between them increases. In other words, the idea is not that things are traveling faster than the speed of light, but rather that things are moving away from one another at an astounding rate because the space between things is expanding. The speed. This means that in order to travel faster than the speed of light, which most physicists believe to be impossible, or to travel outside of space and time using Kratovian holes or engine vorbs, both of which most physicists also believe to be impossibilities, we would need to develop a vehicle. Dark stream. Astronomers made an unexpected and quite bizarre discovery in 2008. A group of galaxies was traveling together at an incredible pace of more than 2 million miles per hour. This phenomenon, sometimes known as the dark flow, was validated by a recent observation from 2010. Researchers looked at some of the biggest spacecraft to find this behavior, giant galaxy clusters. About a thousand galaxies and extremely hot gas are gathered in these clusters, which give out X-rays. Scientists can investigate the motion of galaxy clusters by observing the interaction of cosmic microwave radiation from the SMB leftover from the Big Bang with X-rays. The Sunyev-Zeldovich kinematic effect, 
which affects X-rays, scatters photons into relic radiation, and modifies temperature. When a research team led by astrophysicist Alexander Kashlinsky at the Goddard NASA Space Flight Center studied about 700 clusters up to 6 billion light years away, halfway across the universe, they discovered an effect that had never before been seen as a result of galaxy clusters. The Wilkinson Microwave Anisotrope Probe Satellite of NASA was used to map the relic radiation, which was compared to these clusters. All projections regarding the distribution of mass in the cosmos after the Big Bang are in direct conflict with the cluster's movement. A large gravitationally active structure outside the Hubble volume is one potential source. The source of the suction is probably certainly outside the known cosmos, according to scientists. This would imply that the infinite universe's structure is uneven from our vantage point onward. As for the structures themselves, they may be anything from weird fault lines that transport gravitational forces from other universes to groupings of matter and energy on almost inconceivable scales. Numerous bubbles. Talking about things outside the Hubble's field of view can be misleading because the universe is still there, it's just that there are some sections of it we can't see. There, the physical constants and laws are the same. In a different telling of the tale, bubbles formed in the structure of space as a result of the universe's expansion following the Big Bang. With the seal space no longer growing, each bubble created its own universe, complete with its own set of physical rules and constants. Because one infinity can contain an infinitely large number of other infinities, space is unlimited in this situation, as well as each individual bubble. No matter how quickly we moved, we would never be able to pass the boundary of the next bubble even if we were able to penetrate the boundary of one bubble. Inky Void According to the Fruitful Worlds idea, put out by physicist Lee Smellen, every black hole in our universe creates a brand new universe. The physical laws of each universe will be slightly different from those of the one before it. Smolin thus suggests that universes undergo some form of natural selection, since the same physical rules and factors that commonly result in the production of black holes also result in the creation of other universes. This hypothesis has now been debunked by Smolin and others, despite the fact that universes without black holes eventually perish. There are countless parallel universes. Numerous hypotheses exist regarding parallel universes, but the hypothesis that is currently working well implies that string hypothesis will continue to be developed. These supposedly vibrate in different dimensions are known as membranes. The scope of this movie does not allow for a thorough explanation of membranes or string theory. However, the basic tenet of the theory is that there are multiple, distinct universes represented by the oscillating membranes between worlds in the 11th dimension. When these universes meet, a new universe is created. The effects of wave motion provide some insight into how matter is distributed in our universe. The idea that all of the gravity we perceive in our universe really enters our universe and from another universe in another dimension is one of the theory's stranger components. It explains why gravity in our universe appears to be so feeble in comparison to other fundamental forces. Do you believe that our universe is not the only one out there? Exists infinity, and if so, how big is it in reality? Black holes, membranes, warped matter, the string theory, parallel universes, and warped matter. Do you believe this to be nonsense or do you believe it to be true? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment.